Hello everyone, Jennifer here. I'm going to be showing you one week of outfits from my 10 item wardrobe. I'm shooting this in late July and you're going to be seeing how I use my 10 item wardrobe in real time, in real life, what I actually wear. I'm shooting this on a Friday, so we're going to be going Friday to Friday and I'll show you each day what I'm wearing. So today I'm wearing the Talbot's dress. This is the one with the tailored sleeves and it's the denim dress. I've been wearing this dress pretty much for over a year. Um, and I'm wearing it with my Trotters low wedge heels. So here's my outfit for Friday. As you can see, I've got very casual hair. Uh, it's just pinned back halfway in a butterfly clip and then tied with a ponytail. I need it out of my face. It's very hot. I'm going to be working a lot in the home today. All right, I will see you tomorrow, Saturday. Bye. Hello, it's Saturday, late morning, and I'm very casual today. I'm in my um, Bowden nautical tee with the red and white stripe and my Talbot's A-line skirt that looks like a khaki skirt, but it's not. I think it's a denim, actually. And I'm wearing my Sam Edelman nude patent sandals. So I'm just around the house today. I'm cleaning up, I'm organizing, unpacking boxes. I'm gonna be doing some gardening later, so I might put an apron on, well definitely put an apron on, and I might change my skirt into some yoga pants or shorts if I'm gonna be getting into the dirt. So this is my outfit for the day. I have very minimal makeup on. I'm just literally BB cream, mascara, fill in my eyebrows, and some blush. So that's it, my hair is back because it is so hot today. So this is my look for Saturday. I will see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's Sunday morning. I'm running behind, so this is going to be really quick. We're going to church this morning, and then this afternoon we're having friends for a barbecue. We're having people coming over. So today for church I'm wearing this um, polka dot blue garnet hill dress. If you're wondering what this is, uh, check out the 10 item wardrobe update video that I did. I basically took out the jeans because I was never wearing them and I put this dress in. This is the polka dot version of the black dress that I have. So I'm going to be wearing this to church today along with my Talbot's wedges which I adore. I should do a separate video to these shoes all their own because they're amazing. For the barbecue when we have friends coming over I'm going to change into the Rebecca Taylor dress. Okay, why am I doing this? I'm not quite sure, but I just feel like this is more of a barbecue dress, and it's just more appropriate for the occasion, plus it's going to be really hot later. I just tried touching up my nails, because as you know, my nail polish was chipping, and it's not looking so good, but I'm running late. It was the best that I could do. Okay, so this is my outfit for this morning. I miraculously had time to run a curling iron through my hair, just wearing, of course, very minimal summer makeup. That's it for Sunday, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it's Monday afternoon, and today is a no makeup day. I'm not wearing anything. This is not the no makeup look, this is, I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> okay, so we, we're on summer break right now. And I just have to say that this week is not typical of an average week for us, normally, I'm working, writing, and you know, taking the girls to school, and doing a lot more. Right now it's just free time, which I love. So this is not a typical week, so don't think I'm a lady of leisure or anything like that. Um, but today, you know, this was literally the first day of, of summer break for us, the kids are out of school, and I thought, I'm going to wake up and do some gardening, right? So that's what I did the first half of the day, and I did not wear this dress to garden. If I'm doing light gardening, I can just wear my regular clothes and put an apron over it, but I was like digging trenches with shovels, and you know, I was getting really dirty. In fact, I had to take off my nail polish. Yikes, you could see the dirt on my nails. I still need to go in there, but I was just like getting in the dirt, and it was really great. I love gardening. So a lot of people ask, what I wear when I'm gardening. So I tell you, if it's light gardening, you know, if I'm just going around and deadheading some plants, just wear what I wear with an apron and gloves. But when it was heavy gardening, like this morning, I was wearing exercise clothes. And my exercise clothes are old. I don't have chic, hip exercise clothes like everybody seems to have. 
So I just have this, you know, t-shirt. I think, what, where is this from? Banana Republic. It's like for years. This is an exercise shirt for me. It's just a pink t-shirt. Of course, exercise clothes are in your extras. And I hope that you don't use exercise clothes as daily wear, which I'm going to talk about a lot in the, in the future because that seems to be a trend. And these are just some shorts. Don't even know where they're from. These are from Lucy. And they're just, you know, shorts. I go running in these clothes. Okay, so that's what I wore when I was doing my heavy gardening. Now, when I, when I do things like that, when I exercise, when I do gardening in, you know, exercise clothes, specific things, I like to change out of them. I don't like to stay in them the whole day because then I just feel slobby and sloppy. So I just put something really easy on. And so I'm pretty much done with the gardening for today. So I put on the black version of the dress you saw yesterday. This is the Garnet Hill dress. It's just a black jersey dress. It's super easy. Um, and I'm wearing it with these ancient sandals from Lucky that I, I swear they're like four years old or something. I love these sandals. Um, and that's it. So that's sort of my philosophy. I'm clearly having a very casual laid back day. I'm going to hang out now with the girls and we're going to do some more things around the house. So again, this is not a typical Monday for me, but this is just a slice of life for our summer vacation. So here is my outfit now for the rest of the day. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it's, what is today? Tuesday, no, is it Tuesday? Hello, it's Tuesday, and today it's really hot outside. I'm planning on uh, doing stuff with the kids today. It's actually already late morning, almost early afternoon. So I'm just now shooting this video. We are gonna go do something at a park and you know, I'm just gonna do art projects and stuff like that with them today because they're home for summer. So um, today, because it's so hot, I'm wearing the APC linen dress. I have to have something sleeveless because it's just intensely hot outside. Uh, I was really hot yesterday in that black dress that I showed you. So I'm wearing sleeveless today and um, that's about it. I'm doing that tonight. I'm seeing a girlfriend for dinner. This is such a fun week for me. Okay, I'm not wearing any mascara or any eye makeup because yesterday after I shot the video later in the afternoon I went back to do a bit more gardening and I got a speck of something in my eye, like soil or bark or something. It was so awful, excruciatingly painful. And I felt like it was, I, I tried everything. I was flushing it out with water. It was in my eye for hours. And I woke up this morning and it was so swollen. So I'm not wearing anything on my eyes. I might go see an eye doctor if it's, it's still a bit tender. It was so awful. Anyway, this is my outfit for today. Very simple, I'm wearing it with the trotters wedge shoe. Here come my kids. Mommy, did I didn't water this house full. Okay, my kids are wondering what on earth I'm doing. So this is my outfit for today. It's going to hopefully keep me cool. That's it for today, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, it's Wednesday. It's supposed to be 93 degrees today. So I'm wearing this Bowdoin t-shirt that um, will allow me to breathe a little bit. My Talbot skirt that you've already seen this week and the Lucky Brand sandals that give it sort of a nautical look. Um, you know, we're gonna be outside a lot today and also we have some family coming to visit, my husband's uncle, which will be really nice. So, and I also have to do some office administrative type work today. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm not wearing any eye makeup again today because I want my eye to heal after that traumatic incident. I'm feeling much better by the way, but I'm still not going to wear eye makeup. And just my hair is back in a ponytail. I just need to keep it all off my face so that I can stay cool in this 93 degree weather. All right, I will see you tomorrow. It's Thursday today. Today I'm going to be going on an outing with the family and also we're just relaxing at home. That's, you know, there, I feel like there's two types of people, the people who like to cram their vacation time with activities and things like that, and then there's the people like me who like to do nothing because doing nothing is like a luxury. You know, we're reading, we're playing the piano, we're watching a show, we're cooking, we're just gardening, we're hanging around the house. So that's what we're doing today. So today 
I'm wearing the Bowden green uh, dress. I'm wearing the Sam Edelman nude patent sandals. It's a little cooler right now, so I'm wearing the Talbot's cardigan over it. And I've done my hair in the Easy Elegant Braided Updo that I have a tutorial for. And I like to do my hair in braided updos a lot during the summer. That's my hair. And this is the whole look. It's just relaxed, casual. It's going to get hot again today, so I'll just take the cardigan off and I'll be ready to go. I will see you tomorrow on Friday. It's Friday, it's the last day of this video. And today I'm going to be wearing the Bowden dress. This is another dress with the tailored sleeves. Um, and I love this dress because it just reminds me of a summer garden in the evening. And so I'm definitely going to look forward to wearing this next year in my spring 10 item wardrobe. Of course, I'm going to keep this one. Really quickly, I forgot to mention the other night when I went out to dinner with my friend, I did not wear that APC linen dress. I changed into the Tory Burch dress. And this is probably the last year I'm gonna wear this just because this little opening right here, which normally you can't ever see, is starting to like open up. I've had this dress for so many years, as you know, so anyway, it had a really good run. But I did wear this to dinner the other night with the cardigan and it was perfect. Today I am just wearing this dress. True, oh wow, I have no shoes on. <laughs> okay, so I will probably wear this dress with my uh, nude patent Sam Edelman sandals. I mean, there's nothing special or amazing going on today, but this is what I'm going to wear. It's gonna be another hot day, so my hair is out of my face. Decided to put mascara on after my incident with the eye. I'm, I'm totally healed there. So this is my outfit for the day. I really enjoyed doing these videos, and I hope what you take away from this is that, okay, did I look perfect every day? No. Were my clothes perfectly ironed? No. Was my makeup great and my hair amazing? No. The point is, is that I think it's really important to just make an effort to look presentable, whatever that means for you. Even on a week where you're doing absolutely nothing like I was this week, um, you know, even if you're working from home or you're not going to see anybody or even if you're alone, I think it's important to put a little bit of thought into what you wear. Otherwise you end up just wearing, you know, pajamas or yoga pants or just jeans and t-shirts every single day. And so it's just wonderful to just put some thought into it. It's not about perfection or a high maintenance thing. It's actually a low maintenance thing. And it's just about self-respect and just, you know, treating yourself to that again. So I hope that's what you took away from this video. That is it. Let me know in the comment section below what your comments are, what your thoughts are. And I will see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye.